Your city has grown more beautiful. Wow. Welcome to another episode of Anno 1800, and that was like the fastest it's ever loaded. <laughs> Last time I thought I was going to age, but here we are already. A little laggy. We're waiting for some icons. So it's only technically started, but we'll get there. Ah, right. So I was just taking a look and seeing what we all need to be doing. I need to build a weapon factory and make two more boats. I think these both take weapons, so that's why they're not in the process already. Um, and I believe at the end I got more of the soap production running so that these guys can be happier. We are waiting for the school, which takes 20 iron. I think I'll wait for that before building the weapon factory. Oh, Barrel's uh taking up quite a bit of our island already. Look at all of this. It's so fun to pop in and see how the competitors are doing and how they've decided to build and all of that. It's a strange looking rock. Oh! Wait, would you look at that? It says something on it. We can interact with this in any way? No? And no union. Alright. Interesting. There's a big weird rock. <laughs> like look how much green uh, Princess Ching puts in her her cities. There seems to be a little bit of a difference in the AI and how much they decorate. Like especially when it comes to how their houses are laid out. Um, so Ching doesn't do much. Beryl doesn't look like she does. Uh, oof, he certainly doesn't much. I have a really hard time seeing the yellow on the island. But in the other difficulties, it seems like. What is her name? There's a one NPC who will have kind of like what my places are shaved. Like there's two or three that have like the courtyard shapes and like like these kinds of things. And so I think that it might be based on like the personality or the priority of the character and I think that's really neat. Or it's chance. I'm not sure. But either way, I like to pretend it's because of their personality. <laughs> Alright, end all of that idle chat and we're ready to build a school. Yay! Let's see, do I like the layout of that? I mean it's a little weird. Oh, I mean I guess it goes right into the church, that's fine. Let's get some decor uh, changes to culture. Let's give them a water fountain. Some fields to play in over here. And then just some various treeage over there. Very nice. I like it. Granted, it looks like they're only allowed in this little area, but in my mind, I'd like to think they were allowed to play in this grass as well. So that should help give us more workers. As you can see, it's already increasing because of that church. You look as radiant as ever. Ooh, we aren't fully. Um, Happy th this time. We have Financial Powerhouse a as positive credit balance hastens era of untold prosperity. She's said to have the Midas touch. Meow. And then so that'll help us happiness, daring expansion. Uh, no, I'm in a bit of fun, a bit of filth. Keeps the oil lit when work's waned your wick. Uh, new territory is purchased, which we did buy last time, even though we're not doing anything on it. Another happiness, and then utterly hopeless. Scarcity of beer and ditch water due to shameful mismanagement means the soul of society is draining away. It means they won't work as hard. Um, so we could edit it to, like, say, give us more money or happiness or something. And it costs influence, which is a system that is very strange and a little hard to grasp, but I'm not sure I get it, so I'm not about to try to explain it to you guys because I could be wrong. But, um... Ah, uh, that's that's fine. I'll just go it's for it for impact. now. No opinions on that. Sometimes they like that you 
edit things. Some people like that you don't. That kind of thing. So I was curious if anyone would react, but they didn't. I guess I could put another bridge here. Seems a little excessive though. All right, and then I built out a path here. I plan on putting a bunch of like a farm only area over here because they take minimal like all I would need is the pub and the marketplace at the center and then I could just put a bunch of houses out here. I don't have to worry about making sure that they've got a church and a school and all of those other services. And I just like the, the idea that they're like farming communities outside of the main city because it's just seems like how the world works sometimes. <laughs> but I asked for a new name last episode and I very clever name, Agnoxium, and this comes from Andy W. with the very clever name suggestion, AG for being silver. Mind freaking blown. I love it. I, I really like the, he also suggested an Agnoxia, and I really like that idea, but change the X to an S and that's actually like a medical term. So as much as I like the sound of it, I will use Agnoxium. But now we are ditch water. I think that's an improvement. <laughs> Just a little bit. All right, so now we need to get the weapon thing built. We also need to get the beer stuff going because people were whining about it. Um, which is funny because overall they are still pretty happy people. But now we don't have any happiness from their work conditions. You get that for, if you click up here, you can adjust the speed that you expect them to be working. I don't really mess with that unless I don't want to duplicate something or like, uh, so say how, you know, for one of these, we need three, uh, fields and two breweries kind of a thing. If I didn't want the, that to be the case, I could slow down how quickly the hops works so that the proportion would be a little nicer. I don't often do that, um, but occasionally, but that's the only reason I have ever adjusted their work stuff. I'm torn between do I finish the beer or do I f build a weapon thing? Let's see what, um, okay. Uh, weapons. It takes eight metal, so we could build it right now. How much does it take to do Ugh, this? I really want the escape to close all the menus. Um, or a, okay, obviously, because, uh, anyway, let's go ahead and build the weapon rock real quick. Uh, there we go. I find myself looking up to you, as the youngest often will. Thanks, Hannah. I like the using this. It's no bright sands, but it really is something. Thanks for starting to see the good in me. <laughs> Alright, I like having this uh, icon in comparison to Hannah because she's like prim and proper and because she's stayed on her island and everything. And then she looks, this icon looks older and like more rough because she went to the new world and they were like living off of dynamiting fish, you know, <laughs> like sleeping in barns. So I like the contrast between the two. Are we selling anything right now? We could be selling boards. We could be selling thread. That's not usually a problem I have. I do sometimes sell sails, but I don't often sell much. I only do like 70 so that we always have a lot on hand. But they can continue to produce. That's probably why the wool has stocked up, is because I haven't been making sales, that kind of thing. Oh, we've got some soap in production, so we should be getting even more workers. Uh, let's check that, yep. Full soap. All of these guys are going to be good, and they can be upgraded to artisans. I don't really want to do that quite yet. Sometimes it pushes forward the storyline, and I'm not quite ready for that, I don't think. Perhaps I will start planning out this area. Uh, so we'll need a marketplace first off. Let's see, kind of here-ish, I think. And then we'll throw a pub on, there we go. Hmm. 
Alright, so this is kind of what I've planned out so far. Oh, we'll see how it goes. I like having houses that kind of go up to the edges of the cliffs just because I think a lot of people would like having houses there because them views and all. So that's why I have them kind of pushed up against the cliff. I would put a house here but there's not really a good way to get a road there. So that's the shapes we'll have. We can put a bunch of trees or something in these areas to ruin them views, you know? <laughs> But yes, uh, so let's go ahead and build up the fire station. Uh, I'll wait for the police station because I don't think we need that yet. I've also put out a fishing dock and a small warehouse. Once it's available, we'll also be putting out the like secondary dock so that when we do start trading over to our other island, we'll have a quicker path than going all the way up and around to the front. So we'll have that like so. But for now that's going to be it and then we'll just go ahead and upgrade maybe that block of houses. Let's get our little standard well in the middle, random trees, and a bunch of grass. And I'll probably put just flowers in these little spots right here. Yay. Let's you check. reward our art craft. Let's check on these guys. That market's good. It's got a smaller little tick right there than I thought it would. It's not blue, but... Or maybe it should be green and these ones aren't. Yeah. So we're improving fish and clothes. Happiness or so-so, but it's filling up. So let's go back. We don't have to go to the dock, but it's just a habit. Let's go over here and see how our stuff is doing. We are low on fish, so let's go ahead and start out this second fishy dock. And another warehouse. I like having the fishing docks spread out, especially because... Once you get a lot of trading and ships and going on, there's a lot going up on in these this front main area. So if I could put some of the fishing docks on a secondary beach away, I think it looks nicer. I think I'm going to make a fruit orchard on the other side of this, at least for now. So I'm going to put in some apple trees. So I do something kind of like this where there's trees every other. And then I sometimes take shrubbery and kind of place them randomly throughout the area like this. And then we fill in the rest with just grass and fields. So we don't have a bunch of like the trees and broken stuff in between them. And then we have ourselves an- oh, I'm sorry. I really wanted to close that. And then we have a nice little apple orchard. Now that we have enough money, we should probably get the, uh, not money, uh, mm, steel beams. We'll get the, our beer production underway so they aren't... I'm starting to wonder if you can't turn things around. He wonders if you might be able to change things for the better. That's what I've been trying this whole time. We were losing money. What from? Workers are going up. Farmers are going up. Okay, so something got too low. And people left. Because if their basic needs None aren't being kept. Than we deserve. So if like the fish got too low, we would lose three workers per house kind of a deal. So if you're seeing a big negative, that's usually why. So we're still increasing. Soon we should be closer to the total. We have the royal taxes from having too much of the same type, I think. Probably from our workers. I wish it was a little more clear on that, but from my understanding, that's why it's that way. The schnapps are going low, but that won't affect our, um, how many people will live with it. It just changes their happiness. So let's see, we do have enough guns to get our next ship built, which we have right here. We need to make two gunboats and I forget. We forget we need an artisan. Alright, so it looks like we'll be leveling these guys up. I noticed that this block probably won't be upgraded out of uh, workers to artisans because the church doesn't reach these two. As you can see, kind of. There's no arrow above these, so I probably won't upgrade this block. At least for now. Let's get these three you artisans. A new milestone. Fine craftsmanship. I wish for my people to blossom like your summer garden. Thank you. 
You can't just leave old Wibbly behind. Catch up then, Wibbly. Wow, we I thought we had like way extra in the workforce, and then we just upgraded three houses and we're in the negative. Alright, well let's get another block up to workers. There we go, and then to compensate for that, let's build another block here. This planning thing's nice. <laughs> I should do this more often. Uh, <coughs> Alright, Flitter. Does anyone have that problem? Probably not. Alright, uh, so gunship going. We have- our shirts are kind of iffy. And I don't think it's for a lack of wool. It's just we don't have enough workers. Uh, shirt makers? A marriage of earth and heaven. So we're being offered an alliance? Yes, please. When we are plum and bamboo together. It's an interesting combination, but thank you, Princess Jing. Hoping to butter my tea cakes, is it? Oh, oh butter. I thought bottom. I was like, what are we talking about? The competitors <laughs> are now at war. Uh, and Harlow. Uh-oh. So we are increasing again. That's good. I think it's the shirts that's causing that dip because we're just barely holding on with those. Maybe? Potentially. Alright, and then we're gonna need some canned goods. Oh. Oh dear. This is a super used um, warehouse. How do we upgrade that? Ooh, we need windows and all kinds of stuff for that. You guys are just gonna have to wait then. It'll affect our effectiveness. <laughs> but it'll have to do for now. Because I don't really have space for another uh, warehouse right now. That's something that I'm still learning is you can only have so much around a single warehouse. <laughs> Otherwise it gets clogged up and they get unhappy. You can't bring back your father, but his spirit Wonders whether you can bring back Samuel's spirit. Ship constructed. Oh, we got a new ship. Good. New Little orders. The mosquito. Let's go ahead to sell this guy. Sales. We have a fire, so let's check on that. Oh, no good. Where's our closest Fire department. Here it is. Let's mobilize. Just because it makes them unhappy if you don't. So let's get these two houses dealt with. Oh, this lady's playing with her dog. You see him doing like little tricks for her. I mean, the fire's interesting, but do you see her playing with her puppy? <laughs> I do like this postcard mode. It's very nice. The fire has been vanquished. Thank you. No accidents in weeks. I mean, the two building complexes just caught fire, so I don't know if I'd say that, but... We should look into the shirts. Uh, let's go consumables. We have three and two. It may be a problem just because... I'm so sorry. Because this guy is always busy. That could be the case. Let's get another gunboat in the works and then go check on this guy and sell it. What a jolly jolly surprise. I mean you commissioned it so it's not too much of a surprise I hope. I feel it reflects the times. Would you give me a minute? I'm creeping on a boat and seeing where it's going and then we'll look into your newspaper all right? <laughs> I have very clear priorities. So you think he's, it's just gonna go off the map and head off to the queen? Which is cool. All right, let's look at your. Do I catch you in especially good humor, Governor. All right, so we have an overall positive one. Uh, new first artisans drift in. New artisans arrive at arrivals add culture and sophistication to Lady Knox. Uh, <laughs> I feel like the sentence is a little weird. New artisans arrivals add culture and sophistication to Lady Knox, exhibiting much needed flair and flourish. I think it means the town to Agnoxium and not to... Anyway. Uh, alliance of civil... Uh, so then there's the alliance. A firm alliance between proud nations has been achieved. So it's with Princess Ching and a ship sold. Yay! Uncompromising? Uncompromising journalism. Well, there wasn't much to edit out. Can't get over how small this beach is. But didn't really want to look at the prison all of the time. 
I mean, we'll obviously use that one. But for now. Ooh, we need farmers. Alright, so... Actually, let's check that it's not because they're low. It is because they're... Let's go send this ship off Falcon to Sir ready. Archibald. Hello? Please, couldn't muck me out, could ya? Damned while uh, animals are eating all my hens. Poor things are so terrified they haven't laid an egg in weeks. Please, Governor, catch the rascals. Okay. I've summit to put before a townsperson. Find the wild animals. Let's read what it says for um, a suggestion. Uh, look for the wild animals running around the streets of your city, probably near the farmer's residences. Unfortunately, we have a lot of those. So let's see if we can find some wild animals. So it says, I think this must be her residence. So it says it'll be probably around this area. Hey, we're at least in the positive. I'm still looking for those wild animals though. Um, sometimes I end up having to give up on these because like maybe 30% of the time it's really easy to find what they're looking for and the rest of the time I could spend the 30 minutes and not find what they're looking for like I even I try getting an overall look looking down the streets I run my mouse along because I think it'll turn to a little hand over the uh, quest you know but I'm just not um, being successful and Sometimes they just can't find them, which is usually the most of the time for me. If they were like extra big or glowy or something that was easier to find, that'd be nice. The other thing I always worried about is like, as a viewer, it's probably easier for you to be like, it's right there. How are you missing it? I'm sorry. But yeah, I might have to move on just because I don't want to spend 30 minutes trying to find it and I'll keep my eye out for it, but I won't specifically be looking for the creatures for now. So let's check on our other gunboat and sell don't that. Don't tell me I've missed another appointment. I don't think so. There we go. So now we just need to get a frigate, but for frigates, I feel like we need a lot of something. Just the guns. Okay. So we're waiting for those to build. We're going to start needing to take care of our artisans. So where are you guys? Right here? Nope. We're right here. What a yep. time to be alive. He needs canned food. He'll need a theater. Ooh, didn't really plan for a theater location. Um, and then rum, but that won't be for some time. First, we need to get canned food. Which takes peppers, kettle, kitchen, iron, and a cannery. Which takes glass. So let's go for glass first. Pity Windows. the workers. When I think of their dreary struggle, I know how fortunate I am. That is a very double-sided comment, but we'll just leave you at that. So you say I haven't been making windows till now. What have these guys got? They just got it open to the world. <laughs> Must be nice windows or something. But first we'll need some sand mine, which I prefer to have off of the main port for reasons mentioned previously. Let's put a nice fountain here. Oh no, it's uneven. Uh, an info booth with benches and stuff. Yes, that seems like what would go there. <laughs> if that's okay. And then might as well have the production for the glass here. Especially because I have this area open. So that was going to take... 30 seconds, 30, 15, and a minute. Not upset about that proportion. We will need more artisans though. So let's go upgrade. Have I done the shirt stuff yet? No. I'm a mess. All right, we need more sheep. Though to be fair, we have, do we still have? We have a lot of wool. So maybe just another shirt factory for now. I'm going to put it not on this um, particular warehouse and I'll probably bring it up to oh, that one's awful full too that one's gonna be full let's put it in the new town it need shirts they'll just import the uh, wool 
Like we, we just had a shirt made, so our population is skyrocketing again. I kind of wish it wasn't so... Uh, it didn't fluctuate so much. Like, if they get low on shirts, everybody moves out. So we're going down again. It's it just, it moves a lot. And as soon as you make one shirt, you get a huge uh, amount of people. And then you lose that one shirt and then, you, you know, it's... It's crazy how sensitive it is, I guess, and how quickly it's we moving ought around. To share tea more often. Well, let's see. How are you doing over here? How's your flatter? Medium high? Let's flatter a wibbly. Of course, many, many, many beautiful assistants. And then, might as well flatter her. Open to butter my tea cakes. Yes, I think. I don't, I don't really know what you're saying to me, but I think it's a good. <laughs> Guilty until you prove yourself innocent. Um, I appreciate the offer, but no. How did you manage to wriggle out of it? The fact that I don't have any gunships is probably why and how. I'm not sending this thing to destroy any ships. Okay, good. Glad we're on the same page. Still waiting on the cannons. That's fine. I've got a new shirt thing going. How is the sausage stuff going? All right, we've got extra pigs, but so do you have another slaughterhouse planned? Aha, it fits here. I knew I'd find somewhere where it fit. And then we'll put some flowers. It's just the fishery, but it looks nice. It looks better than because it looked pretty unfinished a second ago, so it looks better. Competitors are now at war. Well, oh, uh, oh, that means they're all, they're already on the other. Uh, that means they're going into the new world. So we're falling a little behind our our competitors, as the game calls them. But that's fine. Ooh, we have a festival, the arts festival. We are now a pleasant port town. That'll go away as soon as the festival ends. The people celebrate your leadership. Festival. So, as you can see, it increases our attractiveness by 400. It's going to go for the next 30 minutes. Our maintenance cost of public services is down. Increases attractiveness. Uh, and any zoos and museums would cost less. But we don't have any of those things. So, it's only really affecting, like, our fire stations, police stations, that kind of stuff. They're acting- oh, there they are. So yeah, now we've got a nice little parade going. I don't know what their signs are. So it looks like a little mustached, pointy-teethed creature sticking its tongue out at me. I don't know what it actually is, but I can't unsee that. <laughs> but yay! We've got a parade, we're doing so good. And that happens because our people are, are overall very happy. I'm looking at the proportions of this. So it's two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, one thirty. And I'm trying to sit there and do like the math of how many of the these three I would need to have it one to one with the cannery. And it's something crazy. If it's possible, it's like four times these things to one of these or to three of these or something like that. It's weird. This might be one of the times where I adjust the uh, the rate that they pro the productivity of it just to slow it down a little bit if they even start complaining. Otherwise, I'll just leave it as it is and they can just wait as stuff comes in. But I'm going to... Oh, right. This is why we're going to need our next island. So we're going to have to be starting up this guy in the next episode, I think. Um, because we're going to need those peppers. It's going to be a long so, cannery, windows, metal. Do we have an iron mine on here? We do. It's all on the other side. Oh, actually, it's not that far. It's just down the line. Um, I may put the whole production chain for this on here. Um... That does mean we'll have to get this island all the way up to artisans though. So I may do... 
Oh, that's tough. This is the thing that I always struggle with is like I like to put all of my attention to like one island and have a, a supplementary island in essence. Um, and so I'd prefer not to have to build all the way up to like schools and churches and covering all of their needs. Like that means I'll have to get schnapps and beer and all of this for the next island as well. And I can't make those things on this island. I can't make bread or anything, which is also another basic need of a worker. So either we need one heck of a bunch of ships taking things back and forth, you know, the bread and the stuff I can't, the beers and all that I, that I can't make here to support workers and artisans here. Or what I'll have to do is produce the red peppers here and just send that over. This is where I start getting overwhelmed <laughs> and unsure of how I should uh, progress, you know? Just because there's so many options on how I could tackle it. Need more workers, but to get or more artisans, but to get that we need better. We need to get the cans, but to get that we need the windows, which we need more work. <laughs> All right, let's just upgrade a line. That's all right. That's a little more costly. Can't. Oh, now I can. All right, so now we're at 280, so I'm going to go do the window stuff. Because I understand that production chain, okay? <laughs> Ooh. My sidewalks are almost within reach. What do we need for this? 500. Okay. Luckily, once you unlock these things on the one island, it's available to all your islands. So it's not like I'll need to get 500 artisans here to be able to have my pass. Once they're unlocked, they're unlocked for this portion of the world. Anything that comes up in the new world, I'll have to meet those cri criteria there, but we're not ready there. What else do we have? I guess we didn't really look at what artisans provided us. So we can make windows, which we've just set up the chain for. Canned food, which is an overwhelming chain. We can now do a city hall. It's for equipping items that affect residences and public buildings. So you can see it's got quite a area so sometimes you'll get something like people are happier or something like that so that's what this will be good for sewing machines another quite the chain can i make a coal mine now that we have artisans oh i could 15 versus 30 so it's produces quicker might be something worth considering getting rid of this and then having the chain from there. Not sure. Uh, the theater, which is something they'll require for their Life here is a fun. wonder. Yes, that'll be their fun. Ah, the medium harbor. This is where we get the repair cane. Cane. Crane. But this is the thing I'm more interested in. The pier. So this is what we'll want to put out on this end so that we can trade or our uh, supply lines can go directly like so. More stuff, zoo, and walking paths. So that's what our new artisans bring us. Their houses are pretty cool. That's one of the things that's nice is there's quite the detail in like uh, each of the tiers and I really like the way they look. I wish you could go closer to the ground with the camera, but this is as low as I can go. Oh well, but uh, I like whatever is like in the shop windows and they're just like so pleasant and though they are all apartments <laughs> i suppose that how how it is in cities i wouldn't know i live not in cities <laughs> but uh i think that's going to be that it for this episode we got ourselves some artisans and we've got some more production chains in the works we're trying to keep our basic um consumer goods Ugh. we need let's go ahead and build this Every time I look, there's things I need to be doing. Go ahead and upgrade that. But I need to stop myself. I've been recording for an hour now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.